What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. On today's episode of AC Designs of Garage, I'm gonna show you a small little tip and maybe help you guys see better when you're MIG TIG welding and stuff like that. And it involves your welding shield. So make sure you stay tuned to find out what she is. Also some little bonus, nice, juicy arc shocks are gonna be shown also. All right guys, here's the helmet I'm working with today. It's a I guess you'd call it a Radnor. I've had this thing. I think I striped it in 2013. So that's how old this helmet is. This was a great helmet. The reason I love it, this thing is like super light. It's not too long. And, you know, you sit there at a table welding all day. Your neck starts getting tired. I got a new uh, Miller Digital Infinity. Great helmet. Does all kinds of stuff. That thing's just heavy. And I like this one. It's got the old school type headgear thing. It don't pinch what little bit of hair I got left. But anyways... The reason I'm changing this out, I found this company online, not sponsored by, paid full price for it, which wasn't too bad. I think at the time I priced this uh, replacement lens for it, the auto dark lens for it, it's like 119 bucks. They're pretty cool though, they're out of Texas. Like I said, they ain't contacting me, I don't even have a, a discount code for you guys or nothing, but I think it's a pretty good price for what it is. So. Let me get it out of this bag and I'll show it to you real quick. All right, guys, here it is. This is the big lens. I like to use it because I wear glasses and those smaller ones I can't use. And the reason I'm replacing this one, this one worked great. It had that old green tinge to it that all the older ones had. But it don't have a replaceable battery. And once this thing kicks the bucket, she's garb. And I really like this helmet. Spent a lot of time striping it. So found these guys online, a True Arc. It's got a lot of good adjustments. Goes from a, I think it goes down from a 9 all the way up to a 13 on the shade. And you can do delay and sensitivity and all that grind mode. And it has a battery that you can take out right right here at the top. Well, I can't point at it because, anyways, right here's where the battery goes. You can see that. But, yeah, looks like a pretty good unit. We're going to see. I'm going to, I got my TIG set up here. Here comes a little sticker and stuff. Yeah, I found them online. Like I said, they didn't reach out to me or anything. I was just looking for this, and I was like, man, this would be something cool to show you guys. But supposed to have that more clear looking, I guess. Not the, we're going to put it in this helmet. I'm going to show you doing that. And we have some little coupons we got over here. Just some little 3 16ths bevel coupons. We're going to TIG it. And all right, guys, what we're working with today is I'm running the Edge Welding Cups, a number 10 Pyrex cup. Now, these are really trick. I like the way you just, uh, screw this adapter on to slide these on i got a good variety of these uh, edge welding cups are made here in Morrisville, north carolina so i like to support local people and stuff and uh we're gonna try them out today on this i'm gonna do a separate video on just you know going over these and the different options and stuff they're really cool people i got to go out to their shop and meet them and stuff but we're gonna get this lens changed out real quick and all right guys let's get this uh changed out here now this thing here was weird because it would cut on and cut off you can see the green tint the old school ones had these things are really easy to change out i don't know if all all of your uh, hoods are like this but man this would be a really affordable way to take a pretty cheap uh, welding hood and upgrade to a, a decent one. we're gonna see how this one is like i said this was a good one for a couple years but it just kicked out on me and i had a decent i thought decent welding shield that couldn't do nothing with battery just died on it basically and also if you see these shirts i'm wearing i'm doing some prototype runs right now so if you guys are interested in any merch or anything just uh let me know i have a well renowned i guess that's what you call it hot rod artist uh ryan ford just designing me a super cool t-shirt right now it's gonna i think you guys are gonna like it it's kind of based off the old late 70s early 80s hot rod thing it's gonna have dad's 32 on it so We'll have him up. He's working on the artwork right now. So those should be up and running for long. Man, this thing's tough to get out. Tell you what, let me get this. I got all kind of electrical tape on this thing. There she goes. She's out. So I'm gonna set that to the side. So now the thing we gotta do is uh, slide that thing in from the top down there and put it back in. It should be ready to roll. My front lens is pretty clean. I mean, it's not bad. It's a little scratched. We may change that later. I've got some extra ones, but it's, it's not horrible. It's better off to have a brand new one, but for right now, I'm just gonna do this. So all you do, 
take the true arc i gotta peel the film off of the back side before we use it but i'm gonna leave it there for right now yep that looks like that's her she's ready to go so i'm gonna peel this Just hook that up there and run that little thumb screw down here, and we should be rocking now. That's her. We'll knock some of the dust off. And good looking unit so far. Really quick change, you know, just a few minutes. I'm gonna set this on. I probably I like to TIG on like a number nine. I, I mean, unless I get on up in the amps, I stay around number nine. So I'll leave that there and. Got a cool little test button to make sure your your battery works here. Let's so get where you guys can see it. That's cool. So, all right, we're gonna get set up, start doing a little arcing and sparking. I'm gonna take some coupons together. I'm gonna try to get my phone stuck down this. I'm gonna let you guys look through this. I'm gonna look through the old Miller, and uh, let me know what you think. All right, guys, let's get her cut on. Let's see what she's at now. I'll lay around 100. I got, I'm gonna be running a foot pedal and stuff like that. So this is not a how-to TIG weld or nothing. This is just a basically where you can watch the arcs and stuff like that and see how it does. So I'm gonna try to, I guess I'm gonna lay the helmet down probably about right here. Then I'm gonna put my phone in there so you guys can see exactly what it's looking at. You guys are gonna see this before I do. So let me know what you think of it in the comments below. Like I said, I'll link these guys uh, True Arc in the description below, a link to their website. Like I said, I'm not getting paid for this. I wasn't even sent this. I bought this out of my own money, but maybe in the future we can team up or something. Maybe I'd like to see something like that, but we'll see how she does. All right, let's get her around here. I don't know how I'm going to do this. Let's see if we can get it in there. Maybe I can brace it like that. Yeah, it's not too bad. All right, guys, here we go. First tack. One cool thing about these uh, clear lenses like this on the TIG welder, it helps you see everything that's going on. So, we got a couple taps. All right, guys, I cranked my amperage up to about 125 and I uh, tried to get some moved around a little bit so you can see it better. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to run about a quarter of this and we'll see how it does. And I'll change the angles where you guys can see it a little better. See which one works the best for you. All right, guys, I figured out my phone settings here. So you're looking through the blue lens right now. So maybe we can get you some a true rendition of what this thing looks like. So I think I got my settings right. So let's burn this unit up real quick. Check out that gas coverage, that man. That, I'll tell you, I really like those edge welding cups so far. Lay in there real nice, covers it up real good. That's the GL10. Like I said I'll link them in the description below so you can check them out. But so far, it looks good. I'm gonna do a let it cool off a little bit, and I'm gonna do a cover pass on it. And I want to look through this new thing. Y'all can't have all the fun, but I'm gonna switch out helmets. Y'all can look through the Miller. All right, guys, y'all are looking through the Miller Digital Infinity right now. Uh, 
a pretty pricey unit. I think I paid almost $300 for this helmet, maybe a tick more. Um, the other one, the lens is like around $119. So you can look at them. They may be a difference. I don't know. I kind of like the more clear blue look. And I think Miller has that out now. All right, I'm gonna run a quick cover pass because mainly y'all can't have all the fun. I wanna look through my new toy. It's crazy because it almost looks like through human eyes versus that phone, you know, trying to focus and doing all that. It really looks, check out. If you guys ever want to know how to do my arc shots, I just lay my phone right there. It really looks like a cobalt blue, really a cool color. Yeah, check out that. Man, that, that edge cut's doing pretty tight. Look at them colors. That's about 125 amps. Just did a little wash over pass a little weave air on it but all right guys think i got that dialed in that looked pretty dead gone good on that through my phone i got the settings if you guys want to know the settings i'm using an old s21 android i know that's not heard of these days but that's what i'm using to shoot with and uh got my settings pretty good in pro mode and i just reviewed the footage that you guys just watched and man that that's what it looks like through the helmet and man that does that not look cool i mean man, you can't knock it for that kind of money you can probably take one of the little cheaper Harbor Freight helmets or some Amazon one and uh, just make sure it's the size. I think that's at four and a half by five or four by five, whatever it is. It's the big lens. And uh, swap out your old cheap weld lens out to a good one for, I mean, like right now, I think it was 120 bucks or something. And you just can't beat that. But as for my thoughts on this lens, this uh, True Arc lens, I'm impressed. I may buy another one. Uh, we're going to do a video before long. I'm going to teach my wife to weld. So I may let her use this one right here because it's a lot lighter than the Miller. Let me, I'll show you the Miller real quick. And now I'm not knocking this Miller. I'm a, I'm a blue man from way back. All my machines, I bleed blue, but you know, this is a good shield, digital infinity. This thing right here, probably microwave your burritos on the evening or something like that. Cause this thing does it all. This headgear, I don't like. It's just too big and bulky and I just don't like it. And the helmet's heavy, but now this Radnor thing, this was always my favorite. I mean, you can you can look at the size difference on them. Just about half. I mean, it's, and it's got the old school. But yeah, look around, get your old cheap. Maybe go to yard sale and find one that's got it. You can just get one of these arc, true arcs. It just fits right up in there. It's got all adjustments you need. It's got the dials. I like the dials. I'm an analog man. I don't do beep, beep, boop stuff. I don't care nothing about that. But I like to turn knobs. And uh, seems to work. I'm super stoked on it. I'll buy another one probably. I, I would suggest it for you guys if you like. I mean, if you want an, an affordable, really good helmet, helps you to see better. Like I said, what you saw in that video is what I see through there. And this, I mean, I can see everything, the ripples of the molten puddle, everything. It just, man, it's crazy how much better it looks. I'm pretty stoked on that True Art lens, man. That thing, pretty dope. So I'm going to drop their uh, info down in the description below. Hit them up. Like I said, I ain't going to coupon codes or nothing like that. I ain't sponsored. I just saw it and I was like, man, that looks pretty cool. It looked, you know, they showed you the picture of what the arc would look like. And you know how a lot of, a lot of companies do that and they make it look really good. It really looks like it shows on the internet. So first time the internet was right. Also give another shout out to edge welding cups. These things are pretty rad. I like it. And uh, I got a surprise coming up. Well, I ain't going to be surprised because I'm going to tell y'all about it. But next week I'm going to try some, make sure you tune in next Sunday. I'm going to try to start doing these videos like every Sunday and if I do an extra one on Wednesday. That way you guys don't miss anything in case YouTube's bad about getting where they're not notifying people. So you can just check me out on Sunday around, I think I'm going to start doing 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock every Sunday. We're going to try to hold me to it. But we're going to try to do 10 o'clock every Sunday and uh, check it out. Edge Welding actually makes a clear nozzle for the MIG welders. I know a lot of you guys are mid -wash. Can you imagine how much better you could see if you had the clear nozzle? I think it's going to be rad. I'm going to go get some, go over and buy some up over there. All right, guys, here's the two companies that we use their products this week. Like I said, not sponsored by neither one of them. Uh, Edge Welding for the gas lens, number 10 gas lens, and True Arc on the, the lens in the helmet. 
work great, work great. Don't know the true art guys, but they got that lens to me in like a couple days from Texas to North Carolina. But yeah, good service. It worked good. Uh, went out and hang out with Eric and him over at Edge Welding. Really like him. People are really nice people. So check both these companies out. Give them some business. They small business. Keep these small businesses going. Let me go over here and y'all check that out. Pretty good. Like the color of that lens shielded it really nicely. Yeah, we're going to wrap this thing up. So, you make decisions. You got to see them both. You got to see the Miller and the True Art. I'm so stoked that I got this one backing in. This was like my super favorite helmet ever. And uh, if I'd have had one of these out and I knew about it, I might not have bought that. But, anyways, there they are. Also, remember those shameless plug. What do you guys think about these shirts? Yay, nay. These are some prototypes that we've been whipping up. Like I said earlier, uh, Ryan Ford's doing me a bad hot rod shirt with Dad's 32. It's going to be kind of like the old tire smoke, jacked up 80s style cool shirts that I used to wear as a kid and stuff. I'm supposed to be designing it right now. We're going to get it out. We're going to do some like some regular OG shirts like this. Uh, let me know. Drop in comments below. Don't got my website. Name secure. It's going to be acdesignsgarage.com. There's nothing up on it. I mean, you can go check it out if you want to. There's nothing up on it. But I'll let you know as soon as we get some merch up ready to go, and I'll shoot y'all over. And remember, be kind to one another. Jesus loves you. So do we. God bless. We gone.